week with everything going on I really didn't plan a thought of the week this week um, I just see a lot of I, I see a lot of hate everywhere all the time with social media and we talked about all that and you see we live in a day and age where it, whatever anybody says whatever opinion anyone has there's always going to be a large group that disagree with it. It's just the way that it is. There's just too many people. People have different upbringings, different ideas in their head. They're going through different things at different times. So it's uh, everything with, with the entire George Floyd situation. Everyone has their opinions on, on a lot of different things. And I think for me, at the end of the day, I just try to look at things uh, objectively and, and try to be understanding. I think that's where I'm getting at with, for, the, for the thought of the week is uh, try to just be understanding. Um, and people are going to convey things differently, relay the, their thoughts differently. And uh, I think everyone's, the, the tensions just are at an all time high with people in general. Uh, a lot of this, I think a lot of people aren't happy. I think there's a lot of people, a lot of us, that just the, the, the haven't found happiness yet. And, and most people never will. And that's just a straight up fact, unfortunately. And it's even me, like I'm constantly, happiness is a choice and it's, you choose to be happy, no matter what the situation, like and you find happiness and, and good in things. And um, so that's how I've really, really try to cherish the moments every day as a gift sort of thing. But you look at, the, there's clearly been a problem for far too long. And I know I told Rebel during the show, you're never going to get rid of racism, unfortunately. There's just people that were the way they're brought up, and I was never raised around it. I never experienced it. I never, it's it just, uh, I don't even look for it because I'm not, I'm just, it's, it's not around it. I don't experience it, but I know it exists. And it fucking existed at a high level. And I also know that it exists every which way possible. Um, but clearly there's a problem with different things. And I think, uh, us as humans, we're, we want to be able to look at the police officers and people that they are good human beings and they, they have our best interest at heart. And unfortunately, the reality of the situation is, is that's not the case. And as we've, we, we clearly see from that video, uh, that went on. What we can hope for is that when stuff like this does happen, that the hammer comes down it, fucking hard and swiftly, uh, and these people are dealt with appropriately. And that's what I think that we need to see with this, and we need to let the because we're never going to get rid of where I'm getting. We're never going to get rid of the thoughts that people, how people, different people are. Um, all we can do is work on ourselves and our mindset and pass that information down to the youth and hope that over time it becomes less and less and less. Um, I would say that things are overall better now than they were a long time ago, but that doesn't mean that clearly things are not right and the system is not perfect. And that's where things we need to take action on that and, and action very, very quickly. Um, and we need to be understanding everybody of it. And, um, I don't think that that's asking for too much personally with it and, um, and just be supportive and uh, I don't think anything you know there's a lot of uh, controversy at times but in, in, I don't look I don't I don't black lives matter I don't think that that's there's no reason to be upset over that and everyone in, in yes all lives matter we get it but this, there's a particular situation going on and, and, it, and a lot of people have experienced it where that, that is not necessarily maybe the case. And we need, we need to start making things right for everybody. And, and again, I think just asking, we need to be understanding. 
and just do our best. And uh, there's a lot going on in the world that's crazy. There's been, the world has been chaos, guys, from the beginning of time. And that's where, again, and this is why I'm very passionate about this. And this is why I don't get caught up in politics or anything. I firmly believe we sweep our own porch. We control our own mind. We work on our own happiness. And when we do that, we can have a very positive effect on a lot, a lot of people. When we do that, and um, it's not always the case, though. It's just, uh, it's tough. It's a tough situation. and It's tough for everybody. Everyone wants everything, to, I think. You know, we all want things to our everyday normal life to, to, to resume. And, and understandably, we, we need to get people working. We need, I think, the entire situation is there's whether, no matter why it's going on or what's happening, is a lot of people have, there's a lot of people that are frustrated. And, and I, I've said this with, from the virus, a lot of things have been exposed from our entire system, our food system, our medical system, um, people, the way we are, that people are paid for jobs, essential employees, the, the, their, their level of pay and keeping people poor, our education system. There's a lot of fucking holes in this whole game, in this whole system. There's a lot, and I think it's all been really, really exposed really, really quickly. And I think more people are opening their eyes to it. And I, in being someone who's seen this for a long time, really see it and it, it, it's, it's a problem that's been going on for generations and, it, and it, 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 it finally just got to that point. And I think tensions are just really, really high. That's why I say we need to be understanding. We need to have some compassion. And uh, there's no room, and I've said it, there's no room for people rioting or looting. That doesn't accomplish anything, and, but that has nothing to do with peaceful protesters. I think there's been, a, there's been a horrible situation of people taking advantage of a thing, and there's been, you know, there's been a lot of good shown with this. Unfortunately, with social media, there's no way to distinguish um, things, to filter things, and you see a lot of bad with a lot of good, and you never know what anyone's agenda is. You never know the whole context or the situation, the whole story of something either, and that's why it's things, too, with these, we got to have a little balance, guys. And I think we got to get back to living, and this is great, and we're gonna, this is never going away, but I, I really think it comes back to us, the self-control, and um, this is this is a thought of the week that's all over the place. But understanding and compassion, I think we need to do our best in it. And there's going to be people that get angry. At the, there's going to be people in the comments on this that are angry at just even talking about this. And that's okay. And I have no pride. I never get. I just I hide them. I don't care. You don't. It doesn't never. I don't let anything ever bring me down. I keep doing what I'm doing because I'm very confident in what I'm doing and I feel in what I'm saying. I believe what I say. That um, compassion and understanding. And let's do our best to try. And that's it. That's my thought of the week. With that, guys, wrapping up here. I also, I got to say, I got my collar and elbow. I want to, thanks Al Snow, the guys. Great, great, great quality t-shirt. I was telling Rebel during the show. Um, but for Shed Gaspard there, that's actually on the, um, I got a, on the Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report from last week. I think we have the link for these shirts on, on that, on the show description. If you guys want to get your own beast. Shad Gaspard shirt for Collar Neville. All proceeds go towards his family for that. And th these are really, really comfortable t-shirts. I, I, I dig it. So thank you guys very much. For all fan mail, please send P.O. Box 752740, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89136. Limited to one or two things, please, with a return uh, postage. 
And if you guys want to send any hot sauces, I need a five million Scoville heat unit sauce. If someone, if you can find a four and a half million and a five million sauce, send them to the PO box, and I'll shout you out on the channel. <laughs> I got to yo. Thank you guys for watching Ryback TV. If you could check out my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Monday on all podcast platforms, conversation with the big guy Ryback every Thursday morning on all podcast platforms, and Feed Me More Nutrition, my personal supplement line, available on FeedMeMore.com and Amazon. Amazon. Save 10% with discount code YouTube10 and save stupid. Why couldn't you? Almost had it. I almost had the whole video done in one take. <sighs> new customers, you can save 20% with discount code new customer on feedmemore.com. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more.